The very fact that the Amazons existed in truth is disputed by some researchers, while others, on the contrary, prove it. Strabo, for instance, wrote as follows. The Amazons are said to inhabit the mountains above Albania. Other writers also well acquainted with these places, among the Metrodorus of Skeptius and Hypsicrate, assert, however, that the Amazons live in the neighborhood of the Gergarians, in the northern part of the foothills of the Caucasian mountains, which are called the Karavnian mountains. But we are curious as to why ancient chronicles claimed with one voice that men were terrified of meeting the Amazons, and even more, of being captured by them. Echoes of how the Amazons actually lived are preserved in ancient legends and myths and, unfortunately, in the very few surviving chronicles. For example, there is a legend that during his Persian campaign, Alexander the Great met with the Queen of the Amazons, Philestra, who offered the conqueror a temporary alliance. There is no woman above mean strength and courage, and no man more magnificent than you. I have come to give you a son, and if a daughter is born, I will take her for myself. In Search of Men From what we know, the Amazons added to their ranks quite simply. In the absence of hostilities, they simply negotiated with neighboring tribes and made love to men for a while, instead of war. And then it was simple. If a girl was born, she became an Amazon. Boys were either given to their fathers or mutilated and killed. The fact that the Amazons themselves did not raise male children is not questioned by any legend or any evidence. Another way was to raid, in order to capture men. And as a rule, the Amazons did not take prisoners in battle. But if a man was captured by the Amazons, he had both an enviable masculine fate and also an unenviable one. Slaves The Amazons conditionally divided all men into two categories, just simple slaves and slaves whom they liked. The Amazons did not need the extra and useless male mouths to feed. But if they liked a slave, they used his potential to the fullest, actually raping those men. In spite of the seeming pleasure of the process, in essence, such a man had to think the least about his own pleasure. The thing is that if an Amazon woman did not like intimacy, the unlucky lover was severely punished, either by beating or simply by execution. Even the chances of returning to the category of ordinary slaves of such men were few, as an unsatisfied woman, and especially an Amazon, will never forgive such kind of humiliation. According to some accounts, intimacy took place strictly according to the Amazon's way of life. A man is just a slave, his proper place is at the bottom of the hierarchy. Men should do all the housework, and women should be fighting and ruling. Accordingly, the slaves were in the horsewoman's position, giving no opportunity to help the process in any way, to make it effective. Roughly speaking, if the chain sat down, without the word with pleasure in the middle, then the poor man faced immediate death. Besides, a slave could be liked by several Amazons at once, and they could fight for him. And again, the situation was not in favor of the man. If he didn't satisfy everyone, he went under the axe. Love making with Amazons By the way, the lifespan of such lovers was short. According to some legends, as soon as an Amazon became pregnant, the father of the child became quarantined. They lived for nine months until birth, and afterwards his fate was already decided. In rare cases, after the birth of a girl, the slave could be left for another season. But more often the man's genitals were simply cut off, and he became an ordinary slave. But if a boy was born, then… In this case, the betrayer could be subjected to subtle tortures, paying special attention to the genitals. And then, the finally exhausted unfortunate man was simply thrown out. The victim's chances of surviving the torture were definitely zero. It truly makes interesting the opinion of some ancient historians about short-lived romances with representatives of other tribes. The Amazon, receiving from her lover everything she wanted, necessarily brought the situation to the moment when obviously already exhausted men simply could not continue. After that, having received a huge portion of insults and humiliation, the former lover of the Amazon tried to quickly disappear. In other words, the male age in the captivity of the Amazons was pretty short, either sick or old, not satisfied, not able. Death. Apparently, there were no other options. Some researchers, by the way, claim that one of the ancient Greek myths about Lamia has the most direct relation to the Amazons, or rather, to their traditions. Bella had a beautiful daughter, Lamia. 
Zeus, in gratitude for affection towards him, rewarded her with the rare gift of taking out and inserting her eyes as soon as she wished. She gave birth to several children to him, but all of them except Scylla were ruined by Hera out of jealousy. In retaliation, Lamia killed other people's children and showed such cruelty in doing so that in time her face turned into a nightmarish face. Later she joined the Impus, seduced the young men and drank their blood while they slept. Blood Ritual Some scholars believe that the myth of Lamia also tells of the killing of boys in another Amazon tradition. She could not have a child until she killed a man. As for the ritual of drinking blood, it may also have been one of the Amazon traditions. In those days, it was believed that the blood of a defeated enemy gave strength to the winner. The second version is that it echoes a favorite method of execution for men. Those who did not please their lovers and others unnecessary in the household were simply cut off their throats or their heads were cut off altogether. Indirect evidence of this ritual is perhaps the last tribe of Amazons in the African state of Dahomey, modern name Benin, which existed until the beginning of the 20th century. The personal guard of the king of the state was 6,000 specially trained Amazons, who were called Minos. The ritual of initiation of Minos, who passed all stages of preparation, was already familiar from ancient legends. It was necessary to sneak up to the captive men, cut off his head with one blow, and make sure to lick the blood of the murdered. The memories of the French, who conquered the kingdom and joined it to their colonies, at the beginning of the 20th century, have been preserved. For example, after the second war with Dahomey, which ended with the defeat of the kingdom, the French officer Jean Bayol recalled, I saw a teenage girl, Naniska, carry out her first test, murder. She crept up to the bound prisoner from behind, swung a large knife, and his head rolled at her feet. To the roar of the crowd, she lifted her terrible trophy and licked the victim's blood from her weapon. Also, the French recalled with dismay how, after the defeat, surviving Amazons came to the French in the guise of prostitutes, and at night they simply slit the throats of sleeping soldiers and officers. So the myth of Lamia was more than just a myth, most likely. And those unfortunate men who fell into the muscular arms of the Amazons could only be sympathized with. Thank you for watching our video. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like and expect more videos from Flipside of History.